We're going to talk to you later. <laughs> <laughs> it's not good. Now I'm going to get Shiro fries out of my way. Um, so I want to talk a little bit about the two shows that we have. Uh, the first being the, I always get it wrong, it's Marathon of Halloween. Halloween's Marathon of Mayhem. Right? Is that it? Oh, okay. It's all right. I can't. Can. Um, that is on our lagoon uh, out in the middle of the park. It runs three times a night, I believe. Uh, and it is a multimedia laser video fountain color projection music extravaganza. Uh, it is everything. Uh, it, it, it focuses on the, the houses and street, no, houses mainly, right? Yeah, uh, the themes, the Ghostbusters, uh, Stranger Things, uh, Wonder Clowns, Universal Monsters, Universal Monsters. Did I miss anything? I don't know there. Uh, but it is amazing. Uh, Jason Horn uh, directed that, and it, uh, it is a compilation of video, but all the video has a sort of 90s or 80s um, graphic slant to it, so it's not just the film being projected on water screen. So if you haven't seen it, uh, go see it. It's down by the lagoon. Uh, it's a, sort of a standing room only sort of thing. Uh, and again, it runs three times a night, and it's you. The entrance is over by Mel's uh, circle, so um, it's about 15, 15 to 18 minutes. No, no, it's, it's about nine and a half minutes. Oh, nine and a half minutes. Okay, sorry. Okay. Sorry. Okay. sorry. I got you. He knows. Okay. He knows. I know. I know. Oh, I know. Bust up to my scare zone. Yeah. 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 Keep it short, Jason. Yeah. Keep it yeah. short. Yeah. We got Vikings out here. Yeah. Vikings, man. Uh, but it's awesome, check that out. The other show, uh, if you've been to the event in the past uh, four years, you've probably seen them, Academy of Villains is returning with a new, bigger, awesome uh, show, which is um, sort of centers around a Jekyll and Hyde-esque sort of storyline, sort of in a Victorian era setting. The, um, the theater itself is bigger, I mean the, the, the set, is bigger than anything we've ever done in uh, Fear Factor before. Uh, it is massive. Have anybody seen the show yet? It, yeah, good, yes. Um, what I love about it, I loved uh, Cyberpunk last year, but what I love more about this particular show is it even feels more like our Halloween brand. Uh, the performers are outrageous. They, uh, the, the contortionist phonetics is it's, it's, I mean, it doesn't look real. It's like some weird CGI creation. It's just completely contorted, and it's like, I didn't know the arm could twist three times around the shoulder socket without falling off. It's not supposed to. It's not supposed to. <laughs> uh, so go see that, uh, and go see, go see it a couple times, because there's so much going on, uh, even through rehearsals, there's something going on up here, and there's something going down here. You just sort of have to look all around to see everything that, uh, that they're doing. And I just got to throw a shout out to AOV, the, uh, the group themselves, are amazing. They have the best work ethic. They are in the best shape of, I mean, it's amazing how hard these people work and they just love putting on that show. So when you guys get out there and scream and whoop it up, that feeds them and you'll just get an even more intense show from them. So uh, make sure you go see that at least two or three times. <laughs> I think once this whole event's over, and AOV goes back home, we should just keep the set up and do like all of her twists. Yeah, I'm going to do that. I'm going to set in London. <laughs> yeah. Um, so that's the event, and we know some of you have some questions, so. 